Morning all, out with RB, second test ride, and I thought we'll pull into my favourite little uh, local park, one of them anyway, Dobby's Garden Centre, and get a quick look at this while we're on the service road. So this is the LXS. Haven't ridden one of these since we sent one out to MT Belly, Matt, for his daughter Kira. And I do like the look of these LXS. Now, slightly different to the LXR. Let's get out and test ride, and I will tell you the difference in the bikes. One mile on the clock, it's obviously taken me a mile to get down here. We are off. Tiny little butterfly mirrors, as I call them. They look like uh, butterflies' antenna sticking out there. Check the traffic. Let's let the traffic go, and I'll tell you a little bit about this. So, differences between the LXR and the LXS. LXR <coughs> has a single colour black and white LED display. Now, with the LXS, you've got that blue backlit display, six speed box, the same as the LXR, and the seat height is totally different on these bikes. Now, the LXR has an 820 seat height, so if you're a longer-legged rider, you will fit on the LXR lovely. LXS is 790 in the seat, shorter wheelbase, <coughs> and a lot smaller. But the difference, obviously, then, is this has an under-seat exhaust. The LXR has a side-mounted exhaust on the right of the bike. But, both water-cooled engines, both have a six-speed box, both great little bikes. And I'm just going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull in, just here while we wait for the lights. Front brake is good. Look how high my leg comes up. I've wrecked my Kevy jeans today. Covered in grease and oil. Been on the spanners, but my leg tucks in right up on the top of the tank. On the LXR, I can get my legs a lot lower. Now I'm 32 inch inside leg. Get through the box as quick as we can. Up into sixth gear and we are away. <coughs> With a dual carriageway. Very easy to see the display. Down there, your gear indicator, your revs across the top, gear indicator, miles elapsed, and time. And they've said it's <laughs> whoever set me clock up. Thanks, boys. You've said it at 7:49 tonight. No, it's 7:49 in the morning now. So 10 to 8 in the morning. We're out test riding, but very easy to manage one of these. It does give you the sports bike feel. You are tipped forward over the bike. Rear seat tucks you in nicely, and of course your pillion seat is slightly raised, which means you can tuck in against the back of the bike. So, happy days there. But these LXRs and LXSs are great. I prefer the SE. And obviously the SE is a little bit more money, but it's all singing, all dancing. Loads of, obviously, carbon on it. Fake carbon. Does make the bike look very good. Inverted forks, race suspension, that you can adjust as well. So for 125, the SE is the all singing, all dancing model. If you've got the money, go for the SE. If you can't, just go for the LXR. If you're a little tiny rider and you've got tiny legs, get yourself an LXS. But these are a great little sports bike. And they absolutely fly as well with that six speed box. Gearing on it is very well spaced. And you can get through the gearbox very, very quick on one of these, up into top gear and just pile the power on. Obviously, if you want to check the spec out on these, you can go to legsmoto.co.uk, click on the bikes, on each bike, if you see more, and it will give you all the technical spec, the tyres, the brake horsepower, the kilowatts, what it does to the gallon, roughly, and wheelbases, seat height, etc, etc, etc. But check out the spec of any bike. And I would always say, if you are looking to buy a bike, Go and sit on one first, Noddy Nod boys. And we are three miles in, going back the other direction this time. And then we'll go round town, do a little bit of uh, 30 mile an hour mileage. 
Now this does put the weight on your wrists slightly, being a sports bike fit also. If you don't like leaning forward and having weight on your wrists, get yourself an upright touring bike, something like a ZSB or even go for a cruiser like the Michigan where you're sat back slightly and the bars are a lot higher. But I would say what you're into, go and have a sit on a bike, see how it feels for riding and obviously if you're doing just local mileage, sports bike always looks good. If you're looking to do something uh, a little bit uh, longer distance then look at getting yourself a Tourer or a Cruiser because it's going to be a lot easier on the wrists. And obviously with a sports bike you do get the vibration through the bars after a while, especially if you're uh, doing a long distance you will get tingly fingers because you can feel the vibration through the bars now you can get rid of that get yourself some foam grips or get yourself some bigger bar ends that will stop the vibration but climbing a hill in six gear no problem whatsoever walking down through the gearbox and I tend to rev match coming down but you can just click straight through the gearbox and let the clutch out five to eight almost at a coffee time for me at the garage four miles on the bike we're about halfway nearly halfway through the test mileage and this one's going out to Andrea and one of our female customers she decided to opt for this now we've been waiting for LXS's to come in for absolutely days and days and days and days these are meant to be here at the end of the month meant to be coming off the boat at the end of the month I think we got this about four days ago so it's been pushed through just for obviously for us to uh, get it out to the customer as quick as we can and I think this one is going out on Tuesday believe it or not so racking up the miles and we obviously you've got to do a final bolt check and all the bits but brakes on this super firm and that is the super bike factory Ooh. yes they do bikes but uh, yeah, hmm, I'm not gonna say a lot about that place <laughs> uh, just bring a bike in they buy basically they buy bikes um, from the bike sites or let us come buy your bike we buy any bike or we buy any car and all that they literally give it a quick polish put it in the showroom don't put a service on it they literally give it a quick polish put it in the showroom and bang a bit of extra money on it all about quick turnaround not something we would do right back to the garage we go a little bit more mileage in a second But it steers through the corners absolutely lovely switch lanes we're going to the outside lane to my favorite roundabout which we call bell end roundabout because no one knows what lane positions you're meant to be in 40 mile an hour area can it keep up with the traffic yes it can We're going right, left lane is left and straight over, oh it's okay, you go and uh, choose the wrong lane, look, wrong lane, right indicator on. And another one, the end of the week again. Left lane and turns right. Look at that, swap lanes again. <laughs> uh, number one, I shall be making a compilation of uh, the lens of the week, I think. I'm going to skip. 
scoot across the roundabout because I'm quicker than you. Surprising the driving standards of car drivers. I think it all went to pot when Covid hit and obviously no one was allowed to go out in their car. But the standards of driving honestly now. Little uh, little stalk at the end of the oh look, there's another one. You meant to indicate before you get onto the junction. amount of people that don't know uh, lane positioning or how to indicate or have read the highway code and think oh I'm the best rider in the world or I'm the best driver yes obviously not right hand lane and he goes straight <laughs> oh, I could drive around all day literally filming numpties in their cars Well, at least the, that makes a change. BMW driver knows that what an indicator is. <laughs> Check the junction, look through. Check my mirror. Right, we're going to head back for the garage. We've got the mileage on the bike. A cup of a coffee ready for me, hopefully. So we will crack on with that and a full day at the garage I'm going to get ready for the bike show tomorrow which is going to be absolutely amazing looking forward to that so whatever you're doing this weekend have yourself a good one if you are up Eclipse on Sunday come and say hi to RB I've got all the stickers there Peaky's going to be there with me and a load of the other motor vloggers we look forward to seeing you then until the next ride, be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.